we have outings in our woods uh, every year. Um, and so this festival started about 10 years ago. And every on, on the third Saturday of August, we have a free event for the public. And we have a number of activities uh, that take place. So public are welcome to attend the activities for all ages. Uh, for example, we've got hikes, we've got uh, building stuff, uh, and all to do with local nature. It's called Louise de Clare and Lawrence uh, Nature Festival because Louise de Clare and Lawrence was a local person in the area. She was a midwife and nurse for the Bornfield area and she helped deliver the Duran quintuplets. But what people might not realize too, she, she was a world-renowned naturalist. She's written five books on nature and many uh, research papers. We have different activities and we try to bring in different people to explain to people the local, local nature. Like there's so much around here, there's so many different stories that nature can tell us and also the values that people get from, from nature. For example, one of the hikes we have is called forest bathing. So this is a Japanese concept, a Japanese activity, uh, where people are able to uh, connect their senses in, in nature. It helps calm you down, uh, has some health benefits, etc. with them. So we have someone who's trained to have nature uh, bathing walks to come and do it for us. Um, we also have, just in terms of understanding different plants, different animals that live here too, so we have hikes on that. The other one is um, on sound. So, we, you know, humans are visually kind of focused. We look at things, uh, but we have a sound walk where people are going to be connecting with the sounds that they hear and what's telling us about nature too. Nature changes through the year, and I think that's one of the things that, uh, you know, with, with us in our technological modern world, we don't connect with nature. We might think about it as more of a problem as rains or snows, etc. But uh, the, the changes in nature that takes place from month to month is something that's really great for people to connect with to understand what is happening and how it affects us as well. Um, so anyway, just bringing, bringing people back, bringing them to enjoy themselves. And, and there's some values too in terms of nature too, like I'm leading a, a walk on wetlands. So the wetlands we have in here, they store a huge amount of water. So whenever you get snow melting or we have heavy rainfall, this becomes a reservoir for that water before it's released slowly back into Lake Nipissing, for example. It also uh, cleans the water. Um, it also provides habitat. It also stores carbon. So there's all these other benefits that we get. And also, uh, Laurier Woods was is kind of strategically located between Lake Nipissing and Trout Lake, which is an important stopping area for animals that migrate through here from the Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere every year. And so it's been here for thousands of years. And as areas are being converted for human use, paving things over for roads, railways, uh, buildings, etc. We wanted to keep a green patch for the animals that have been migrating to stop over, relax, recoup, refeed, and take off. Just like when we stop at Gravenhurst and get a coffee or use the washroom, same thing. This is an area for, for wildlife to keep on doing what they've been doing for thousands of years. Come into the Brule Street parking lot from 10 o'clock till 3 o'clock on, on the Saturday. And the activities run through different times. If you want to take a look at the schedule, uh, there's information on the website and on our Facebook page. Um, and there'll be people on tables and stuff here they will be able to talk to the public that comes in. This taking place on August 17th, coming up soon.